Oh. Well, that was fucking something else. Honestly, you can get near space from jail. Look, fish soup was there. Fish soup was absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I'm just walking around here because it's simply quiet and I'm so hot. I put way too much chilli in that soup. Same staff were there at the same spot. I'll have to film it at some point. The reason I didn't, it was just so hot and noisy in there. I would have just been having to scream over the top of it and just pointing at things. Over there! But uh, no. So this is a. Uh, this passes for quiet in the centre of Singapore. Just round the back of the buildings. Just so I can get my breath back and everything. I'm out of breath with heat. It's just, oh man. The aircon in there is non existent, but that's what you get when you. When you're surfing on the bottom rung of the ladder for your fish soupy right across this road easy peasy I've had no near death experiences this time round in singapore not so far anyway not this far anyway oh meal was i eat actually that's a load of bollocks it was just like it was last time which is just the way i like it kind of thing but uh everything was cool with the exception of and i've forgotten this happens but uh, it, it obviously happened every time i was here last time when you go get your, your queue up for your food, stick it on your tray, you sit down, well you've probably seen it in other films, and uh, what happens then is I do, you don't order your drink from the same people, or I don't, and uh, the hawkers that are standing around these people who are just you know looking to sell you stuff, notice that you haven't got a drink on your table, so they'll just turn around and they'll just, oi, that, that western opulent, heed the bar, well, there. he hasn't got any uh, fluids, let's give him some so an hour, and you just order fluid, a couple of dollars, so it's about a quid for a nice ice, oops, sorry man, so it's just about a quid for a nice uh, ice drink kind of thing, so uh, they do that, but there's also another set of hawkers there, and to be fair, um, they're probably unable to do anything else, because most of them are suffering from terrible disabilities, I have no idea what the benefit system's like over here if you're disabled or whatever, but I imagine it's fucking atrocious. Um, although they do seem to look after just generally OAPs in general, but um, disabled people, I don't know, mentally infirm people, I think they might get a you know short deal, at least socially, I know for a fact they do. Anyway, so somebody will come hobbling along with like, you know, a, a foot missing or something like that, you know, and they'll try and hawk you um, tissues. Now, the first couple of times I just didn't mind, you know, they just got one dollar, da da da. Here's like a bundle of little five packs of tissues, really rubbish quality, you know. They're not going to get you anywhere, just wipe it once across your brow and that's a dollar's worth of shit gone. Non absorbent diarrhea. That's not the point though, you know, they've, they've got a foot missing, you know, what can you do? Anyway, I'll try and get this, get this over with before I expire. Jesus, absolutely hot. Must be pushing 36, 37, and I've just eaten loads of chili, so I'm just sweating. I feel like I eat, but uh, my body's not, not, not I eat at all. Anyway, these people will try and hawk you, you know, your tissues. Fair dues, they've got limbs and bits, bits missing, you know, leprosy, I don't know what it is that goes down around here. So you give them a dollar and you don't feel so bad. But today, a woman came along and I just went, one dollar, turn around. She looked Thai. Oh go, she looked miserable. One dollar! You know the sort of Thai brides that fucking western arseholes will fucking hire for the fortnight, you know? Fall in love with and start sending money back, you know? When they get back home, i.e. dicks. Anyway, this Thai looking woman may well not have been Thai, but she had that And had a quick scan, you know? She had a full complement of limbs, you know? She had feet and everything. So I just kind of thought, nah, it's just one of those split second decisions. I mean, yeah, when in Rome and all that, just give people money for tissues. But fuck that, when a fucking miserable tie comes up to you and there's not wrong with them. <laughs> no, no dollar forthcoming from Mr. Marshall. So uh, she wasn't impressed by this. And obviously her, her English is about as limited as my tie, i.e. doesn't fucking exist because we're both as ignorant as each other with regards, with respect to each other's cultures. Not that Brits have a culture, we're just fucking white pale people that fucking exist on an island, that's it. Anyway, that's besides the point. One dollar! This little exchange goes on for a second until she got the message that I was fucking having none of it. And she just fucking picked it up and whacked off. It just didn't even acknowledge my existence after that. Just like a fucking smack he didn't fucking uh, Newcastle, you know? You got a pun mate for the phone! No, sorry mate, and before you've even finished saying no sorry, they've already ignored you and they're whacking off looking for the next fucking mug. It was a bit like that. Anyway. So basically the moral of the story is some miserable tide comes up to you and shouts, Wanda, just tell her to fuck off. Basically, you know. But 
most of the time they do just have you know like limbs missing or something now say if somebody comes up here trying to sell you some tissues and they've got bits missing just say hey, hey buy them you know or you know if they've got like i don't know two legs missing perhaps you know and they come i'm not i don't know how you do you like but well, you did on your hands wouldn't you with a rucksack full of tissues they come sort of like sliding up to you buy fucking two lots of tissues give them two dollars but don't patronize them by saying yeah keep the money stumpy but hey uh, i never need the tissues take the tissues even if you just hide them in the bin outside you know don't make it look like you're fucking a charity kind of thing they don't take kindly to that kind of shit so there you go one limb one dollar one limb missing one dollar two legs missing two dollars take the tissues if they've got this is this is my greatest fear to be perfectly honest if they've got two legs missing the torso missing or both arms missing as well and their heads missing chances are i'm not even gonna notice they're there and they're probably gonna think i'm a right fucking in fucking ignorant english fucking brick shit you know that's my greatest fear the fear of not knowing whether i've actually ignored lots and lots of people without you know legs arms torso and a head whilst i've been in these hawker bars enjoying my fish soup and there i'll just wandering around in the, i don't know in the ether or whatever I don't, know. I don't know how they get about when you've got near limbs maybe they're just stuck there just there could be one there basically and i wouldn't know that's something that troubles me oh. well i've nearly recovered gonna climb over this bridge have absolutely no idea where I'm going in whatsoever. But that's part of the fun of coming to Singapore, just having absolutely no idea. So I mean, if you stop and stop wondering where you're actually going to go, you'll find all you can do is go to, go to shops and uh, go to more shops and uh, then go to some shops that sell food and chairs, not sell chairs, but have chairs, sit down and eat while you think about which other shops you're going to go to after you've eaten. That's about all that goes down around here unless you adopt my technique of just wandering around like an asshole talking into your fucking iphone thing or whatever it is i don't even know what it is i've bought and uh just enjoying yourself generally and just trying to make sure that your body doesn't pack in on you that's the crucial thing so there you go there you go lovely is it nicer than bencham it's all relative you know if i lived here i'd be as miserable here as i currently am in bencham so the trick is wherever you live go somewhere else for your holidays. It's as simple as that. I'll see you later.